So first, I'm going to show you some animated notifications that I've prepared for you, and then we'll code a little bit. So here you can see a notification being triggered by a language change feature. Um, pretty crazy notification. Hope you're not going to see it that crazy in your production apps. But I wanted to present to you what React Native Notificated can do and why it is going to be the only library that you will ever need. So as promised, let's move to the coding part. I've prepared some uh, playground for us to use today. Um, let's import create notifications from React Native Notificated and we're going to call it. And we're going to import something specific from here. Notifications provider that we are going to include that in our return method. And pretty much that's it. That's the setup that is needed in order for us to emit a notification. But if we want to do that, then we are going to use notifications. And from that hook, we are going to import notify. And to keep it, keep it simple, I'm just going to um, pass it to on press function. Let's just call it. So the first argument that uh, this function takes is the type of the notification that we want to emit. Uh, the library gives us four options, error, info, success, and warning. Uh, I'm going to choose success for now. And the second argument is config. Uh, we're going to pass params, maybe title. Maybe some description. Yeah, and let's see what that does to us. And we already have a notifi working notification. Thanks. <laughs> so like you saw, we have four types of uh, notification, just presented one. So I'm going to import other three. And let's see how all they look like. This is info, that's error, and warning. As you could see, I was pressing those buttons a little bit earlier, and none of the notifications got piled up, they, just because they are queued, and they are going to be appearing one after another. Um, OK, but I told you that this is going to be the only library that you will ever need, so I need to give you some possibility to customize it, right? So then React Native uh, Notificated gives us three levels of customization. The first one, the most generic, uh, is global scope. Let's call it this way. Uh, the global scope affects all the, un all the notifications uh, that we have in our app, and we can modify that by passing config. And let's do that. We're going to, for example, choose notification position. We can choose from bottom, center, top, pretty standard. I'm going to do top. Uh, duration, I'm going to set it for one second. That's the time for how long the notification is going to be, be visible uh, on the screen. Uh, if, I would like to, um, if I would like to change some styles, I'm going to use default style settings. And as we spoke, global config. Uh, let's choose, for example, default icon type to be monochromatic. And Border type, yeah, let's choose to be accent. And let's see what that does to our notifications. As you can see, we don't have that border. We have color panel, and all the icons are grayed out. Uh, the next level of customization is type, type branch. So for example, if I would like to modify all the success type of notifications, and I'm going to do that by passing success config. And here, for example, we can change background color to be lime green, because it's success. Uh, then maybe title color to be white. Description color to be also white. Um, and accent color to be black. Let's see. 
So the info stay unaffected, but our success already looks different. Uh, the most specific level of, of customization uh, is instance level, instance range. So I have customized all my success notifications, but I would like one specific to be slightly different. Let's do that. I'm going to copy that button. And by changing the styles, sorry, changing the styles, we can do by passing the third parameter to be style. And here, what we can do, we can do, we're gonna switch off all the icon, no icon. We're gonna do title size to be, let's go big. So this one still didn't change, but our custom already looked different, and this is that one. Uh, we can go st one step further, and we can pass config to that custom success notification. And for example, we can choose notification position just for this one. And I'm gonna do center. So this one, still on top, and that one is in the center. Okay, that already gives us uh, a lot of possibilities to customize. However, if, that, if that's not enough, if that doesn't meet your expectation, you are more than welcome to create your own custom variants. Let's do that. I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna clean up a little bit. We're not gonna need that. Okay, so we're gonna move back to our config. Um, we're gonna get rid of this as well because we're gonna use our own styles from, from our custom variant, and we're just using variant. Here goes the name of our type, so I'm going to name it totally ca custom variant. Let's go crazy, why not? And we're gonna pass component to be custom notification that I've prepared uh, beforehand. Let's see what's inside. Um, that's pretty much uh, a standard component that we would normally create. We have some icon here, there is text passed by props and close button. Let's tweak it a little bit. I'm going to add one more prop that is going to be a Boolean. And I'm going to pass it to our emoji icon. Okay, um, but what if I would like to, you know, um, connect that custom notification, that custom component with the functionality from the library? Let's say we have close button. How do I close that notification? It's pretty simple by using use notification controller. And we are going to take from that hook, simply remove. And we're going to pass it to on press function. Okay, there's one more step that we need to do. Uh, in order for us to have all the types automatically generated based on the config that we are passing in here, we need to use notify uh, directly from create notifications. So I'm gonna import that and export from here so we can use it in our app. And we are going to be importing notify from And the same thing, syntax is exactly the same. So on press, let's call notify. And we already have our totally custom variant available for us to use. Um, the second goes config, params, as before, but this time we're passing text because that's what we defined. And as you can see, TypeScript is already telling us that its is also is missing. So I'm going to add that. And obviously, let's see how our custom notification works. 
That is what we have created. And let's check out our close button. Works as well. We actually have one more way of dismissing the notification. We can swipe, swipe dismiss the notification. And yes, you guessed it, that is also customizable. Um, we can pass config and gesture config direction to be. So the, um, the, by default, we have Y. So I'm going to choose X so you can see the difference. So I used to be able to swipe it down. Now I can't. So I'm going to swipe it to the left. And now it works. Um, OK, but as you could see, that notification is coming in from the left, leaving on the right. Pretty standard, pretty boring. Let's tweak it a little bit. Um, I am going to define animation config. And actually, the library gives us a bunch of animations built in that you can just import and use it. Uh, so I'm going to choose rotate in, rotate out. And that already is a different uh, notification. As you can see, we are using our custom component with the notifications, with the animations coming from the library. However, if that is not enough, we can build our custom animation. Let's do that. We are going to be using generate animation config. Uh, so here worth uh, mentioning is that all animations in Notificated are being built with uh, re the one and only React Native uh, reanimated. Uh, so the syntax is going to be pretty similar. Uh, we're going to pass animation config in. And the type of my animation, I would like this to be timing. Now we need to pass config. The config is going to be basically exactly the same what you would normally pass to with timing or with spring. Um, however, I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm just going to pass duration to be one second. OK. And uh, let's play around with those styles right now. So we are going to use transition in styles. You can think of it as use animated style. Uh, that takes in uh, progress. That is actually a shared value. Uh, and under the hood, that is uh, from 0 to 1. And based on that, you track the progress of your, um, of your animation. So let's, to, let's try to return some styles, if I could spell. Um, let's start with opacity. And we're going to bind it based on progress value. Let's see what that does. It should be fading in and fading out. And it's doing it. OK. Um, but I want some movement. Let, let's, let's make it uh, a little bit uh, better. Uh, I'm going to define translate x. And I'm going to use interpolate, as we learned a lot yesterday about it. And I'm going to bind it to progress.value from 0 to 1, like I mentioned. And how about we just pass from 100 pixels, minus 100 pixels, to 0. Um, sorry. We're going to do the same thing for y. And we are going to return it. Translate x, translate y. Let's see if that works. It's coming in from the left corner and leaving to the same direction. Yeah, so if you would like your animation on exit to be different than the animation on entrance, uh, you can simply configure, uh, define, transition out styles. And I'm just going to change this a little bit to keep it similar. So it's coming from the left, but it should be leaving to the right. Yeah. You can also you know, play around with it. That's reanimated, so it gives us uh, endless possibilities. Should we go to the bottom? Yeah. Um, so yeah, as I said, the sky is the limit here. With with reanimated, you can do you can do a lot. Um, 
that's it pretty much from the coding part. However, uh, I would like to move uh, to a little bit of theory. Um, so yeah, like it was mentioned, I'm Magda. I'm a React Native developer from London. And uh, I am actually one of the contributors to React Native Notificated Library that has its premiere just recently. Um, so feel free to scan the QR code that's, uh, that's browsed through our source code. Um, use it in your future projects, use it in your current projects, uh, and give us your feedback. I'm really curious to see what you guys can, can make out of it. Um, so the library has been built by designers and React Native developers from the Vidlash groups that actually are here present with us, most of them. Uh, if you go through our uh, GitHub page, uh, you're going to see that React Native Notificate is not our only open source uh, project that we recently released. You're going to also find Holy Daily, our demo app, and React Native Emoji Keyboard, super performant emoji picker. Uh, so feel free to, to use them as well. Okay, to sum up, uh, why that library is awesome. Like, what, what did we do? What happened in the last 20 minutes or so? Um, so definitely easy setup, dev-friendly API. I mean, we did pretty cool stuff, and it was not the rocket science, was it? Um, fully customizable um, styles, animations, gestures. We even passed our custom component. Um, modify notification on the fly, not only modify, also remove, as we did. Uh, easy to use outside of React. Uh, Well-designed built-in variants. Uh, dark mode support, obviously. And very important, type safety. That library is fully typed. All the types are automatically generated, even for those custom components, custom variants that we were building. Uh, so there's not much space for a mistake if you are using TypeScript in your projects. And besides, please show me a developer who does not like autocomplete. Um, and last but not least, it's definitely faster than your delivery man. Thank you. That's it.